Welcome back, everybody. Matt and I'm back here. Hope you're doing well. We got some movie news this week. By the way, they're working on a new romantic comedy that's going to be R, R rated. I mean, we might be either here, but R can be a little bit more naughty. And it's going to be directed by Will Gluck. Will Gluck has done some romantic comedies back in the 2010s. He did the Emma Stone film, Easy A, that starred Emma Stone, Ted Masley, uh, Lisa Kudrow, I think Stanley Tucci. Um, I didn't really like that film. Uh, that was actually Emma Stone's first starring role. Um, he will forget. Um, in the early 2010s, Emma Stone was not as big of a name as she has become you know, nowadays. Um, uh, obviously she broke out in, uh, uh, teen comedy Superman in 2007 with Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill. And then she did a little bit of, a few movies here, like The House Money with Anna Ferris. She did another film with Jack Black. But those were all, like, small or supporting roles. Easy A was her first starring role in that film. And like that, I think that was a really funny comedy. Also has romance. Um, you know, I think we had Ted Bagley in that before he became Joe in You. Um, and then he went on, and then the director, Will Gluck, went on to do No Strings Attached. The Ashton Kutcher, Natalie Portman romantic comedy in 2011. I like that film too. I think it's, you know, it's not a bad movie. It's fun. Um, I think, I think that was season 13. Um, and I think, I think it was a pretty good movie. Romantic comedy. Um, I think all romantic comedies have the same formula. So, well, Will Gluck is working on a new one right now. And we found out that it's going to star Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Um, you got two of the most high-profile up-and-coming actors right now in Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Sidney Sweeney, if you haven't watched my podcast, is going to be in, like, everything soon. Madam Webb, the Barbarella remake. She has another movie she's working on. Uh, I was in Euphoria Season 3. And now she's going to be in a romantic comedy that's going to be rated R. Um, and then we got our boy Glenn Powell just coming off of, like I said, Top Gun Maverick. Um, and he was, I think he's done a romantic comedy on Netflix called Set It Up with Zoe Deutsch. I brought that up before. So, I mean... You got right there, you know how we have two one of the most high profile actors right now rising up in Hollywood. But must be honest. Even as a straight male man here, you got Glenn Powell in a romantic comedy with one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood, Sydney Sweeney. Well, again, two of the most hottest actors. I don't know about their career. I mean, their work. Two of the hottest actors in Hollywood. Um, in a romantic comedy together. Thank you. Um, and it's going to be rated R. Oh, yes. So you got something for women and for men. Basically. You got the eye candy of Glenn Powell for women. And you got the eye candy of Sidney Sweeney for men. That's what it more than does. And I'm going to be rated R. Hopefully it's good. I mean, even if it's not good, you got something to look at for two hours. Can't go wrong there. Um, but yeah, I mean, like this, Sydney Sweeney's career is really starting to really go boom. Even more than her co star in Euphoria, Zendaya. Um,. And then I think you got Glenn Powell, I mean, Glenn Powell, 
you know, started out like in 2016 in the movie Everybody Wants Some by uh, Richard Lexlater. And, you know, he's been slowly moving up. And I've been coming out of the, the second biggest movie of 2022. You know, he wants, to, he wants to make a Captain Planet movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. And he wants to be Captain Planet. I'm sure, like that, I wouldn't be the man in some comic book movie. He eventually picks them up. But not only that, not only the actual movie itself, but romantic comedies are starting to take back. Last year we got the Marry Me film with uh, Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson. And last year that was actually pretty good. At first everyone wrote that, wrote that off like, oh, that's going to be horrible. It actually turned out really good. And then near the end of last year, we had the Julia Roberts, George Clooney, Take It to Paradise, which I also enjoyed. And then even already this year, we're getting, just in uh, February alone, we're getting uh, the Reese Witherspoon action picture film, Your Place or Mine. They just had the trailer out this past week. It looks good. It looks fun. It looks like a romantic comedy. But when you look back and you go, there were two actors in Hollywood in the tw in the 2000s that ruled romantic comedies. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. And you had Ashton Kutcher. I mean, you if you were to say romantic comedy and you you made a bet in Vegas on either Mad on which actor, if you at least said either Matthew McConaughey or Ashton Kutcher, you would win. Yes, in the twenty in the two thousand and twenty tens alone, Ashton Kutcher Ashton Kutcher maybe had no strings attached. The killers. What happens in Vegas? I didn't really like that movie with Cameron Diaz. A lot like love with Amanda Pete and just married with the late Brittany Murphy. I mean, Ashton Kutcher ruled the romantic comedy genre in the 2000 and 2010s, early 2010s. And then we had Matthew McConaughey with um, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, um, The Wedding Planner, um, The Ghost of Girlfriend's Past, uh, Fool's Gold, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's another one in there I'm forgetting. Um, and I like this, I like it. And we also got another one coming out with Allison Brie in February. She was also in a really un underrated romantic comedy, Sleeping with Other People, starring Jason Sudeikis. I think that was like 2015, 2014, 2015, around there. So I'm glad that the romantic comedy genre is starting to make a return. Um, I mean, you know what? Romantic comedies are fun. You know, are they, are they predictable? Yes. Is the story meets the same? Yes. But like I said, we go see comic book movies. At the end of the day, is the hero going to win? Yes. Is the hero going to get the girl? Most likely. Is the hero going to defeat the villain? Yes. Okay. But we still go? Um... And like I said, who doesn't want to laugh once in a while in a romantic comedy? I do. And like I said, seeing Ashton Kutcher return, even Reese Witherspoon had, you know, Sweet Home Alabama, Just Like Heaven, you know, back in the 2000s. Okay. You know, we need to see a Reese Witherspoon and a Josh Lucas reunion. Where's that movie? Um... Well, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I think you got two of the hottest actors right now in Hollywood, both in terms of look and in terms of their career really, really heating up. So, I'm on board. And as the director of EVA, which was a really good uh, romantic comedy, uh, romantic teen comedy in the 2010s, and he also did the one with Ashton Kutcher and Natalie Portman, 
no strings attached. So, and, and they're about to start shooting this very soon. We just see this by the end of the year. These romantic comedies don't take long to shoot. Maybe a month, maybe two months at most. You don't want to worry about CGI or special effects. So I can possibly see this movie coming out by maybe early fall. Or depending on the story itself, maybe it's around the holidays. I don't know, but we'll see. What do you know? What do you... What do you know? What do you know that I don't know about this movie? But what do you think about this? You Are you a fan of Sidney Sweeney? Are you a fan of Glenn Powell? Are you a fan of romantic comedies? Let me know in the comments below. Matt the Matt here.